We're going to practice these hand over hand, first blocked, and as we said before, blocked means playing the three notes together as one block of sound, and then we'll play them one note at a time, which we said before is called an arpeggio. Some people say that that sounds like when you strum a harp, so I'll call this the harp. So you can also use your pedal if you're at a piano, and uh, actually some keyboards have a pedal also, but put the pedal all the way over to the right. If you have three pedals, it's one to the right, and you're going to play first blocked. C major, left, right, left, right, over with the third finger, and back down right, left, right, left. Then one note at a time. C, E, G, C, E, G, C, E, G, C, E, G. Go over with the third finger on the top, C, then G, E, C, G, E, C, G, E, C, G, E, C. Change your pedal and go to C minor. Left, right, Especially for my students, you can't play it like that. You have to play it with one hand at a time or two hands together, but with thumb turns. So, mostly you're doing the major and minor arpeggios. So, for the right hand, you're going to use one, two, three for C major, and then go under with your thumb, two, three, five on the top, go back down, three goes over. Left hand is five, four, two, one. Four, two, one, two, four, one, two, four, five. And together. And then you can do C minor. One, two, three, one, two, three, five. Left hand, five, four, two, one, four. to play a chord correctly, you need to know the correct technique. Because if you play with a flat pinky or finger number five, you're going to get too many notes and not just the three that we want. You need to have height. The fifth finger, for some people like me, will lock at this joint. But if your finger will curve here, that's even better. The point is, you want to be able to see this knuckle actually all of your knuckles. And what you could do is make a fist and then gently open up your hand and if you can press this knuckle here and see a little bit whiter after you do it, we call that snow on the mountaintop. That's what you want to see. And first of all play the five. Then you play your thumb right where the nail meets the skin right here. So first you play your five, then your thumb, play those together, make sure you can get them both, and then lower the third finger. And again you want to see your knuckle at the top of the third finger if possible. So that will be a nice strong chord for major, minor, diminished, and augmented. For the left hand it's the same thing. Again you don't want to play with flat five. You need height. And same thing, if your finger will curve right there, that's the best way. So you play, well, make a fist, gently open it up, five, one, where the uh, skin meets the nail, and play those together, and then add the
the three with being able to see this knuckle. C major, C minor, C diminished, and C augmented. Now for the fourth section of circus music duet. After you finish black, white, black, skip, one, two, three, stay there, use all three of those black keys in that three black key group and the two below it. We're going to use all five of these black keys. And you go short, long, up, 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 up. And now the middle of the three black keys. Short, long, up, down, down, down. Middle again. Short, long, up, down, down, down. And you're ending. Here comes the whole thing. So go to your instrument. Our next lesson will be on building the three kinds of minor scales and how to practice them. Until then, happy practicing! <laughs>